out again, um, but I'm not having any fun. I'm in a meeting, so <laughs> I'd much rather be there with you, but I can't. So please try to um, copy all this down in your warm-up book, especially the vocabulary. So the vocabulary in red especially is what you need. Your homework is in the book, page 943, 17 through 29. Even though some of it looks like you need to use algebra, you need to use inverse matrices to solve the algebra equation because that's what today's objective is. Before I get to the objective, though, I want to remind you of what an augmented matrix is. That's from one of your salt from one of your con videos. An augmented matrix of this two by two system. This is called a two by two system because it's two equations with two unknowns, x and y, which becomes a two by two matrix of just the coefficients. So that's a two by two matrix, but I'm going to augment to the two by two matrix. by putting the answers after that line. The augmented column doesn't change the size of the matrix. It's a two by two augmented matrix. What's in blue isn't part of the dimensions. Okay, so we're going to be using that idea today. The additive identity, I just wanted to uh, put this in here because multiplicative identities we've been all doing for square matrices. But additive identity size doesn't uh, play into the whether I can create an additive identity or not. This is a 2 by 3. Its additive identity is just each element negated. The next thing, second order determinant, this is the unusual language, but I want to make sure that you know that when you're on an assessment, if you don't understand something, read in context. You do know what a determinant is. You do recognize this vocabulary. So even if second order confuses you, you can at least take a very good educated guess that they want you to do the determinant, right? Which is negative 8 minus negative 40, which is positive 32. Second order does mean they're asking you for a 2 by 2 determinant. So guess what third order would be? Third order goes with a 3 by 3 matrix. Fourth order goes with a 4 by 4 and so on and so forth. Okay, You are now responsible though for that vocabulary. You cannot on an assessment go Ms. Gads, what second order mean again? I forget. Okay. All right, so for today's objective, our objective is to solve a two by two linear system using inverse matrices, right? Not algebra. But I need you to realize that you start in mal algebra world. You're starting in algebra world. That answer needs to be an algebra answer. Now, I could absolutely use algebra. This is such a simple system. But I'm going to pretend that I can't. Plus, I'm going to assess you on getting the same answer you would get with algebra, but using matrices. So we're going to go into matrix world. And we're going to follow this algorithm. You're going to create three matrices, something called a coefficient matrix, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's not an augmented matrix. It's just the x coefficients in the first column and the y coefficients in the second column. Then the variable matrix is a one-column matrix with just x and y in it. 
and then an answer matrix that is also one column or a two by one with the answers, what we in the warm up, what we augmented the two by two matrix with. So you're going to have three matrices, CVA. Now I want to show you something. If I took the coefficient matrix and multiplied it times the variable matrix, what would I get? A two by two times a two by one gives me a two by one, right? And you know what I would get? Five X and two Y, X plus Y, oh my gosh. So this is C times V, and I'm saying that that's going to be equal to your answer matrix, which is 11, 4. So that means by using the equality of matrices that 5x plus 2y must be equal to 11, and x plus y is equal to 4. That's what this system is. So what you're doing is taking an algebra system and representing it as a matrix equation, and that's what step two is. Step two is create a matrix equation. And if you think about yesterday's objective, you were solving a matrix equation using inverse matrices, but it was, I would often call the matrix you wanted to get by itself, capital X. This time I'm calling it the variable matrix. So you need to create the, ma create the matrix equation with that awkward space. Then you're going to try to get XY by itself. You want to get XY by itself. To get XY by itself, you have to get rid of matrix C. Guess who gets rid of it? It's inverse. So to find the inverse, you do 1 over the determinant times the adjoint. So you multiply 5 times 1 and subtract the product 1 times 2. And you get 5 minus 2, which is 3. And then the inverse is 1 over the determinant times the adjoint. 1 over the determinant times the adjoint. And remember, for the adjoint, whoops, for the adjoint, you switch the elements on the main and you negate the elements on the minor. So 5, 1 becomes 1, 5 and 1, 2 becomes negative 1, negative 2. You can distribute that 1 third through or not. I generally do not. Now you are going to multiply, but remember you need to multiply appropriately. You need to left multiply both sides of the equation by C inverse. Then you're going to use the associative property of matrix multiplication, and you're going to multiply C inverse times C, which gives you what? Let's write the identity. So, I'm going to write, I have the matrix equation with that awkward pause, and then I'm going to put the matrix on both sides. The, I'm sorry, C inverse on both sides of the equation, and I'm going to left multiply by C inverse. Left multiply by C inverse. And then I'm going to multiply... going to leave that scalar out. Actually, no, no. I'm going to multiply the whole inverse by 5, 2, 1, 1. But I'm not actually going to multiply that because what does this give me? This gives me the inverse. And the inverse times xy is just what? xy. Over here, I am going to not do that 1 third first. I am going to multiply this 2 by 2 by this 2 by 1. And what am I going to get? Oops, sorry. I'm going to get 1 third. Ah! One third times 11 minus 8 and 1 third times negative 11 plus 20 
but that's one third times the matrix three nine and that now we'll distribute the one third through and get one three remember you can't leave your answer like that you need to take this matrix answer you used inverse matrices but you came from algebra so you need to put your answer back in algebra form and turn this into 1 comma 3 a point of intersection alright you try so again I could solve this system using algebra oh I forgot I wanted to make sure if I'm claiming that this answer is 1 3 it better be true that 5 times 1 plus 2 times 3 is equal to 11 is it yep how about 1 plus 3 is that equal to 4 yep simultaneous point of intersection so now you go to this one create your three matrices right your coefficient matrix 2, negative 6, negative 2, negative 1, your variable matrix, and your answer matrix. You don't actually, again, have to write these down this way, but you must, right? This step is optional. I mean, it's not optional to create it, but you don't have to write out this step, but you must write out this step. Your, the objective is to solve matrix equations, solve a system using matrix equations. I have to see that you create the matrix equation, that you find the inverse, and that you correctly multiply both sides of the equation. So you might want to pause the video here. Pause the video and see if you can do this yourself and then turn it back on while I go through this problem, okay? All right, I assume that you have tried it. So remember to create the matrix equation. I'm going to go ahead and write it down here. I'll write it here, I'm sorry. My coefficient matrix, 2, negative 6, negative 2, negative 1, times the variables that I have is equal to the answers that I was given. To find the inverse, it is the product of the main, well it's 1 over the product of the main minus the product of the minor times the adjoint, which is switch on the main and negate on the minor, then I am going to multiply both sides of the original equation by the inverse remember you don't actually have to multiply these you're multiplying C times C inverse, therefore that's going to be the identity. And 
the identity times xy is just going to be xy. And I'm going to get negative 16, I'm sorry, positive 16 and negative 30, which is negative 14. And I'm going to get negative 32 and negative 10, which is negative 42. And I didn't do this on purpose, I swear. This ends up to be 1, 3. Not all your problems end up to be 1, 3. <laughs> which means, remember, I have to turn this into an algebra answer of 1, 3. That means way back with my original linear system, which was 2x minus 6y is equal to negative 16, and negative 2x minus y is equal to negative 5. That means it better be true that 2 times 1 minus 6 times 3 is equal to negative 16, is it? Yep. And negative 2 times 1 minus 3 better be negative 5, is it? Yep. So again, your homework is... Um, is in the book and the first uh, couple of problems don't ask you to solve they just remind you of what it is to be a singular matrix how to find an adjoint ask you some questions so vocabulary questions um, but do remember that if you're using inverse matrices right if you have no inverse it's because you're matrix was singular, your coefficient matrix was singular, and what makes it matrix to singular? The determinant is equal to what? Zero, right? You can't say no solution. What do we say? You can't say no solution. You can't even say infinite solutions. You can only say there is no unique solution, right? You'll recognize one of the problems that we did too. Number 25 is one of the problems we did in today's lesson. So you already know the answer is 1 comma 3 because <laughs> the answer to both of our examples is 1 comma 3. All right, I will see you tomorrow.